It's been a summer full of thrilling and action packed racing. Here's a sampling of some recent events that we just had to share. It's time for this week's hot laps. The Pass South Super Late Models recently visited the Greenville Pickens Speedway in Greenville, South Carolina for the Firecracker 125. Stephen LeJohn and Harrison Burton made up the front row. As always at Greenville, tire management is critical, and nobody managed their tires better than Daniel Hemrick, who patiently waited for a late race caution to make his move. Hemrick made his way to the front, eventually passing Harrison Burton with four laps to go. Hemrick was followed across the line by the 12 of Burton and the number six of Brandon Setzer. Ladies and gentlemen, we're green in Oski! So Bill Baylock down off of the racetrack, so all is safe right now. Safety officials on the scene. Back to back, the road challenges. Hit me, it's Blackjack! Green flags out. We are racing here at Berlin Raceway. Chris Davidson turns it around in turn number four, bringing out the caution flag at lap 51. Oh, we got a spinner in the middle of the racetrack. 33 car goes around in front of everybody. Several cars involved. Doesn't look like major damage, but we got a spin at lap number 149. Give the lead to Johnny Van Dorn. Eight laps to go. Johnny Van Dorn will win the Battle of Berlin 251. Green flag for the Belleville Midget Nationals. Fires it off to the inside. Battle for the lead. Big slider from the 97. Clears him. Rico Aber to the top spot. Well, he won the prelim night last year. He was second on Thursday. He'll get his first Belleville Midget Nationals win. Rico Abreu, your winner. Congratulations to Rico Abreu for claiming the 37th annual Belleville Midget Nationals. He continues to lead the USAC National Midget Championship over Tracy Hines and Chris Bell. In addition, Rico has been busy racing wing sprint cars and doing pretty well, I might add, taking victories in both the 410 and 360 classes. Recently, Aaron Everham sat down to learn more about what makes Rico, Rico. You were ranked number one in the Speed Sport Power Rankings for the first quarter. Um, talk to us about this season. Yeah, what an what a honorable mention for that to be number one over, if, I'm pretty sure Villa Poto. I, I actually think Kyle was the number 11 spot out of the 10, so that was cool. But you know, to, to beat all those guys, and you know, I just had a successful three months of racing there from February to you know, April. Or, it's cool to uh, race that much in, a, in such a short period of time and win those many that many races, uh, and then be mentioned as the number one ranking of the. You know, sports, which is, I know is a big deal for a lot of people. Even with Rico's racing career on the rise, he doesn't venture too far from his roots, Outlaw Cards, where the low cost of racing makes it a perfect place for young racers to get their start in the sport. It's definitely affordable and there's not much maintenance to them and uh, you, you can just roll them out of your garage and go race them and roll them back in and race them the next Friday night. I honestly think it's the best thing to do to you know, raise your kid and get them to you know, succeed and you know, be competitive. Well, we've got all sorts of celebrity drivers in the field tonight, and one of them is Rico Abreu from the World of Outlaws and from USAC. And Rico, how cool is it for the first time nationally televised event for this type of racing? Yeah, this is awesome. Uh, you know, I don't think the Outlaw Carts have ever got a TV race like this, and uh, this is what I grew up racing. These caged carts right here. I like to be the exciting driver and uh, to show up to the racetrack and know you have a shot of winning this race. Uh, I, you know, I'll do whatever it takes to win. The car control is huge these days and to be able to race with all those guys is, you know, it's, it's a good experience for me. You guys have fun tonight? I had fun, I didn't race this. It doesn't matter what you think, it just matters that you have fun. Yeah, you're right. Okay, thanks buddy. Enrico appears to be having a lot of fun racing a variety of dirt events, but after seeing one of his closest friends take his dirt racing skills to the stock car world, is that the next step for this open wheel star? I honestly wouldn't say no to the opportunity of stock car racing. I just, I just want it to be the right opportunity and I want to, I want to still be able to race sprint cars and go race outlet cars with my friends. I don't have plans for my career, so I just want to, you know, right now I just want to race sprint cars and and win races and just being consistent. And, uh, this year I'm actually running the whole USAC midget points with Kiku, so I think maybe next year try to get in a silver count 
the more different cars I get in is the better for my experience and you know experiencing all these different things is just better for your career in the long run. Rico will be in action this weekend in Chico, California, running in the Gold Cup Race of Champions with the World of Outlaws. Always a great event. If you're in the area, make sure you go on out, have a good time, and cheer Rico on. Up next, we're going off-roading with Bill Baird as he shows us what it's like to race one of the most grueling and intense off-road courses in the world, the King of the Hammers from Johnson Valley, California. Stick around for Hit the Loud Pedal, presented by Fast Orange. Speed Sport Magazine will continue right after this. Thursday nights, MAV TV is the place to be for the best in American real racing. Speed Sport Magazine presents insightful features to keep you, the fan, in the know. And I scare the hell out of myself. Tell me the truth. You're better than Rico? And Speed Sport brings you great racing action. Tune in at 8 p.m. Eastern and Pacific for Speed Sport and Speed Sport Magazine.